The Leadership Institute is a standalone department that was created in order to help students learn more about leadership, develop leadership skills, and probably most importantly, work on their own practice of leadership. So putting those things into practice and learning from experience is certainly a key part of it. So um, we began, as you said in the introduction, in 2010. Uh, it was founded then, and that first period of time was spent really starting to learn about what students might respond to, what kinds of things might be useful to them. So it was really a learning and listening phase. And we got into, I would say, got into full swing in the fall of 2010. So mm -hmm. we've really been at it for only about a year, a little over a year mm -hmm. at this point. Uh, is it all students? Is it a certain group of students? Who's it for? It's ultimately for all students in, on some level. Um, we are developing programs that are open and available to all students. It is, however, geared mostly towards students who hold leadership positions, who have an opportunity to work on their leadership skills in the context of those, uh, those positions. So what, might, what are some examples of those positions? Well, we do a lot of work with house boards. So um, one of the things that we've done is each semester before school starts, the day before school starts, we will put together some sort of a program aimed at house board members. So typically a house will have somewhere in the neighborhood of uh, eight to ten students and there are nine houses and they'll come together for some sort of an event so that's a pretty big group of students that we work with on a semester by semester basis so there'll, there'll be eight to ten students per house on the board on the board right so there might be a president and what else a president a treasurer a secretary someone who's involved with intramurals an eco head a metaphysical head so a collection of students okay. and we'll put on some sort of a program that involves all of them and in one case it was something called board games which was intended to develop uh, team building skills so we had the students competing in nine different events uh, against the other houses and they were really intended to create uh, a sense of teamwork and help them learn how to cooperate and communicate and that sort of thing mm -hmm. so that group of students the students who are on house boards we work with you know at least once a semester and then we will work periodically with an individual house board or some individual house presidents. We also work with student government leaders who are campus-wide uh, position holders. So the, the campus-wide student body president and vice president I work with on an ongoing basis during the semester. Um, the student senate, which is a new model starting this year, we've done some work with them as well. So certainly student government, which is a natural fit, is, is one of the groups of students that we, we work with fairly closely. Another group is team captains. Uh, we started in the fall of 2010 working with team captains in various sports to help them understand the dynamics of being a leader of an athletic team. And, and so each season we will work with a selection of captains. So that's another group of, of students that we'll work with. Um, and then there are uh, students that we work with on a less regular basis, so um, resident assistants, um, and students like that will also be involved with, with some kind of, of leadership programming. My, what are we trying to accomplish with this? What's the goal? Well, th I, I think there are really probably three key things. W one is that we want them to, to be able to be as effective as they can be in the positions they hold on campus. So one thing is to improve their leadership in the positions they hold. The, uh, next, the next thing would be to use leadership as a catalyst for character unfoldment. It's a, it's a great vehicle for students learning about themselves, learning how to deal with each other, and that sort of thing. And then the third thing would be that they're learning skills they can take with them, that they can apply to positions that they hold outside of school, whether that's over the summer at camp or whether that's after they graduate and they're, they're in the workplace, or church work, community work, any of those kinds of things that the, the skills they learn and the experiences they have will lead to them being effective leaders in those roles.